What you have is, you know, we're created with two eyes. You know, we're a species that has two eyes and we can see volume and we can see layers. And, you know, I can look at you right now or I can look at the guy 50 yards behind you, right? And our medium enables people to do that. The reason it, that it, it works without glasses and all that is it's essentially like a, a flip book. You know, when, you, when you're young and you flip the little images, right? In this case, there are 1,280 frames or images, right, that act like pages. They each have a gradual transition of perspective um, of the content. My name is Meet Meyer. I'm a 3D artist and animator, and I've been working in the 3D digital realm for about 15 years now. It's a perfect way to go into my brain space, I think. It's something that makes me stop and want to look at it and kind of get more involved with it. Uh, I'm Alex Alvarez, and I'm um, the director of Millman, Millman Workshop, and uh, just uh, opening the Millman Gallery right now. And uh, as far as my work, I uh, got to do a piece for the show, which is really cool, called Kiss. Rabbit holes I heard of through Meets, Meets Meyer, and so, because he started working with uh, rabbit holes, and I uh, got to see a couple of those. And, brought them into the office and they were amazing. For the first show, uh, I don't know, just contacting Rabbit Holes just seemed like, uh, you know, the first, you know, step in opening the gallery was just to show something progressive and new and exciting and, and uh, I think that's why uh, that popped into my mind. Fantastic. Uh, amazing. It's the beginning of a new art form. Surreal. Surreal. Yeah. And intense. I'm blown away. Astonishing. So finally now that technology and everything has come around to where I can create creatures and it's something that people hopefully can appreciate, it's a new medium and using like a, the hologram technology of rabbit holes, it's just, it's, it's incredible. It's great to see this. That one is really sweet, the alien who's sort of lost in the, in the living room. I like the use of that, the way that he used it. And um, I like Pascal's work there, who, who like, really takes the imagery and the, and the method and process and brings it straight up to 2008, if not beyond. By working with rabbit holes on this exhibit, you know, they've brought a new technology to an amazing medium in this perfect marriage um, to really bring it to life, literally bring it to life. This piece right here by Chris Costa, um, because it's the old woman who's she's her eyes are closed, she's sleeping, she's dead, she's a spirit, but with the light and the color, she wakes up and comes to life. And I think it's sort of a perfect symmetry and an excellent example of what rabbit holes does and, and visual effects and 3D and, and what these artists can do. <laughs> Ah, so I'm uh, Timur Beiser, better known as Terran, and uh, I've been a digital artist for almost two decades now, actually. Impossible not to be blown away by it, and so was I. When I saw it the first time, I, I thought, uh, this is a medium. Uh, I, I want to dive in and see what, what's possible there. It was, yeah, it's, it's a revelation. There's something sort of innately worldly about it. There's something sort of innately exciting because it is 
fully is animation and it's three dimensions and it's all of these things. So there's something very, there's just something incredibly compelling about it. Nave of her neck and you see kind of just the side of her face and it compels you to want to see around her. So it's almost like it really utilizes the idea of 3D because you feel like I really want to see what's around her so you keep on trying to. Everybody just came and, and look at it, and everybody's kind of dancing in front of those, you know, uh, flat uh, images. So uh, it was an amazing experience just to see how things can be uh, reproduced like, as, as a 3D object. It's an enormous opportunity for, for artists to you know explore a new medium. So, I mean, I'd love to see them in fine art galleries. I'd love to see them um, on the street, on the sides of buses. You know, there's you know, definitely to me it almost it's almost like something out of Blade Runner. You know, this is like the next generation of visual communication. So it stands out. It, it's really uh, you know it's another dimension that I'm not used to it, but uh, looking at it this way looking at Meets Images and Jeremy and Tyrone and Pascal Blanchet and Fred Bastille and, and you know looking at the images stand out is very impressive. It's a technology that I had no idea existed and uh, I'm, uh, I'm very excited with uh, what that can uh, you know, bring to our world of 3D. A hologram that's to me that has always been the holy grail. So I said, oh my god, and rabbit hole, perfect. That name's just, yeah, that's it. I want to do a rabbit hole.